Uh, today we're going to be looking at the works of Roberto Mata. Uh, Mata was uh, a Chilean and probably regarded as the most important Chilean artist of the 20th century. Um, in a, when he was quite young he lived and worked with the major surrealists in Europe uh, in the 30s and 40s and uh, became very well, very, very well known as a, a surrealist painter. What we have here is a beautiful uh, work, uh, it's a carborundum etching on a handmade paper. You'll see the deckled edges of the paper and we'll do close-ups later so it's just this beautiful very heavy handmade paper. Uh, it, be it becomes more like a painting uh, because we have such great saturation of colour. Um, a lot of that is um, because of what we call uh, carborundum etchings. And what a carborundum etching is, um, other than just um, the normal techniques of uh, etching lines or, uh, or appetite etchings with the regular um, um, etching techniques, with the carborundum etching you're actually taking epoxy usually or some kind of glue and applying it to the surface of the plate, usually a copper plate when you're doing etchings, and then sprinkling carbon powder in there. When that dries and you ink up the plate, the um, the, ca the, um, the carborundum, the carbon powder, absorbs um, a lot of ink. Uh, so when you finally print the piece, you get a lot of ink on your paper, but you also get these beautiful uh, textures. And we'll come up closer later and you'll see these kind of only, almost like a lunar landscape of pitted areas. The colours here are really, really rich, really very beautiful. Uh, the strong oranges down here and the the overall red is really kind of very vibrant and beautiful. Um, it did, I believe, three series of three carbon etchings. Um, the first, this is from the first series, probably the best series, and this was like the kind of really great piece from that initial three. Um, he did um, two smaller pieces in carbon uh, and on the medium, which we're going to talk about next. So these are the, um, the two uh, first carbon etchings that Tamata ever worked on. Um, they're a little smaller, but the quality is just the same. The beauti beautiful intense color, uh, the very heavy texture of the carbon So this is a kind of beautiful pair. They, they look well together or individually. Uh, these two, what is unique about these two in terms of carbon is they actually have hand coloring. And this one actually has this beautiful kind of collage that uh, when we take close-ups later you'll be able to see. So again, um, handmade paper. And the paper, because they were not framed correctly initially, has buckled a little bit so we will be taking these out of the frames, uh, flattening them and then framing, framing them again in something less cumbersome than these frames. But uh, again, as you will see, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pair. And the other thing you will obviously notice about both these pieces, um, the general theme is lovers. You obviously have here a male figure, a female figure, uh, the symbolism of the bird here, and again in this piece, uh, the obvious kind of uh, male and female figure of the lovers. Um, I believe this one is called Jardin. Uh, I forget the name of this one right now, but um, if you go to my website, we'll probably have these posted and you'll be able to get more information on the works. 